Hey guys, welcome back. Lucian here with you again, like always, back on the DNS server. I guess so. I don't know what we call this, like episode 3, 2, I don't know, it's an episode. So, yesterday's video, I um, I watched it back and I was like, you know, I'm a l I am was a little bit jaded, a little bit grumpy, so apologize for that. I was just kind of, just one of those days. Um, so, recap from yesterday's video, or... Well, it's yesterday for me. I don't know how long it'll be between that. I finished up Batania. Um, got enough self to make a ring of magnetization. Everything's kind of jamming along there pretty good. My crossbow is just awesome. You know, Guana Dweek starts out kind of, kind of grindy. But man, it can really just take off. So, you know, my draw speed is 0.7 seconds. And... Um, my arrows or my bolts just wreck people. So, since I got the moss on there, it auto repairs, so basically kind of refills my bolts without me having to do anything. So, pretty dang good there. I like it. Um, I guess Otis picked up the digital miner. Had that finished, we ran that yesterday. And we got ourselves a boatload of resources. Like, boatload. Like, there's 6,000 iron up there, and lapis, and 2,000 certus, and redstone. So, we're okay for resources for now. And, um, you know, now that we're okay for resources, I decided to go ahead and start working on the new base. Otis and I talked about it last night. So he, so I built a base, and he is, um, he's gonna live under the base. He's gonna be the little hermit, the little troll that lives under my base, because he's not much of an above ground uh, base person. He's more of a kind of a cave person. So he's gonna do that. But we got several projects to work on today. Basically, just kind of jump starting um, work on the new base. So I made a portal gun, and let's go check out the new base. There we go. I mean, it's still much, very much work in progress, but at least I got the shell up and um, kind of got a feel for what I want to do. So let me know what you think. I mean, there's still some, you'll still see some issues like that one's only three tall, but that one's five. Those things like that, because I haven't figured out what I want to do. So, yeah. But I like it coming up pretty good. I have like little towers here that you can work in. I'm actually using mana glass here. It's a little hard to see but I'm, I thought it was a nice contrast with this um, smoky quartz because it's kind of the same blue and the cool thing about mana glass is it gives off light so I'm not having to worry about mob spawns up here on the uh, this little deck and this is all laboratory blocks. So it's it's going it's 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 a something but um, it's enough that we can start moving into the inside is very much less done but it'll it'll allow us to do some work it's like somebody died or I killed something here recently some string spider must have suicided I don't remember killing a spider so yeah, let me know what you think. I, I like it. It's um, it's good. It reminds me a little bit of my um, old base where I did kind of the circular shape. But this one's more of a squarish and it's got a little more open feel to it. And so basically we'll have four little workshops on the four corners to do projects in. And then in each corner, you can come up here and we have two little small little areas to work. So I think I'm going to move Batania up into these little towers because uh, just kind of get it out the way. So today's episode we're going to work on getting power up and over here to the new base because we have too much crap and we need to get AE going, we need some automation going. So power is the first issue. So Let's 
do that. I got all the pieces and parts made up. I'm going to do something like I did in the um, Infinity Sauce, but just picked it up a little bit. Got a flux generator, uh, yeah, not flux generator, a yeah, advanced generator from the BDU mod. Made five turbines, so it's going to put out um, a thousand R if a tick. And we're just going to use coal, burn coal for. Um, I thought I saw a creeper. It's just creeper head. We're just going to burn coal for right now since we have about 1,700 coal. And that'll probably baby us through until we get the next step. So, I've got all those pieces and parts. You know what? I did not make. I forgot to make um, power conduits. Or, um, you know what I'm talking about. I uh, did flux, uh, flux uh, thingies. Why can I not think of this name? Flux, flux ducts. Yes, that, that stuff. I thought we had some. Um, it's five. Not very many, but. I'll upgrade them to at least harden. Um, well, I mean, I guess that'll get us started. At least get it to where it's powering itself. So let's work on that. Now, the next tier, we're going to basically do our power generation in tiers. Um, so this little workshop is going to be our power room. Alright, so first tier, we're basically going to do this advanced generator making thousand R if a tick. And the second thing we're gonna look into immersive engineering and get into one of their uh, the multi-block diesel generators and that puts out four thousand R if a tick. So I don't know if we're gonna make a big reactor. Big reactors are kinda overdone. Who knows? I'm open to any idea but I think this is gonna be kind of the path we wanna go to because I really wanted to get into immersive engineering. It just looks so cool. So I have an idea that we're probably this wall is probably going to be one, two, three blocks wide. So um, let's start getting this guy going. One, two, three. Yes, that's what I want. I did make two outputs because I don't know why I just did. I had a reason, but I don't remember what it was. And we're going to have a capacitor. Um, nope, that won't work. Get it with that. So if I do pulverizer there, magma crucible there, you there, and then I can bring up power like that. So it's basically just a very compact machine. So pull power out of here, and power will come out of there. So 1000 RF a tick. We are going to need some power to jump start it. Um, let's configure this guy too. So we'll input on the top. Ooh, that's going to be a problem too. Um, let's do this. I got an idea. Just flip flop these. That's what I love about this generator is you can just kind of configure them any way you want to. And then while we'll have the, um, the bonus stuff, we'll come out there, we'll just stick a chest. And then, pull, and then the pulverize coal there, and then there to there. That'll go into the fluid intake to go into the machine. Awesome. So, I want to try this. I just thought about this a minute ago. I just want to get enough power to where it powers itself up.
that's what this slot is here for on the thermal expansion machines. So now, yeah, now it's basically self-sufficient. Just need a little kickstart. So that's running off the liquefactor coal, as you can see right there, which is just the pulverized coal down. And it's starting to build up its internal buffer. But it looks like we've got a little bit of... You know, we really don't need hard in here. This will be fine, because it doesn't take a lot of power to run. It's only taking 40. This one's taking 100. And this can transfer up to 200. So we're well within our limits. Now, going down here, I probably will want to upgrade these two. Very cool. So looks like we're already starting to get some sulfur out. But this should mean change to fill up first, and then this one should start trickling up, which it is. Nice! So we're going to have a net gain of, what, 860 RF a tick? Yeah. We're right at 860. Sweet. Alright. So down here, this is why I kind of have it here. I built in a little, uh, little farming area. Now, Otis, he likes to farm. He's a farmer guy. I should have made a sleeping bag because it's going to be Mob City. Let me go ahead and sleep real quick. I had a blood moon not long ago, so that's why I spent a lot of time inside crafting up all this stuff before I started recording. Um, jump back through. Let me start cooking up some invar is what I need to do. Okay, good. So, Otis likes to do the farming. Now, if we go back to our engineer, uh, immersive engineering handbook, you're going to see that we're going to need something to make plant oil, which is any of these four materials. And we're going to need something to be fermented, which is one of these four materials. Now, Agricraft is in this mod pack and you see Otis has already started. So he likes to do stuff like this. So, you know, I really think we're going to make a good team. So once he gets on later day, I haven't seen him yet today, but he started Agricraft last night, and you can see like on this carrot, so it's a little hard to see, but um, these are called 10 10 10 which means they have a growth speed of 10, a, a gain speed of 10, and a strength of 10. And you can breed these up, and 10 10 10 is the best. So, um, looks like he hasn't done the potatoes, the sugar or the sugar cane. But if, you know, if we look here, we can use sugar cane, and we can use seeds, wheat seeds, which we'll have right here, industrial hemp seeds. Now I was looking through his chest, and you can see looks like you can do the ag agricraft on industrial hemp seeds. So maybe he can breed up some 10 10-10s of this industrial hemp seed since it does have a little bit better a uh, better return for the uh, plant oil. So the, the ethanol, they're all the same. So I'll get him once he gets on today. He can move that downstairs and he can start working on that. So let's jump back to here. I'm going to turn this guy off, well on technically, and I'm going to cook up a little bit more Envar. Um, maybe that much? So I'll just toss these in here, and that'll make myself however many that is, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 Envar. So that way I can upgrade these a little bit to um, help with our power transfer. So I got all that made up. So next thing we're going to need is a harvester. Now let's make them plastic. Yes.
Looks like this is the cheap recipe for the harvester. Um, doesn't take the invar axes and stuff. I saw a pair of shears somewhere. I mean, just look at all the crap we have. There they are. Bam, bam, bam. So now we have a harvester. Just stick this in the mob drop chest. Lots of skeletons we're getting in our little um, ghetto little spawner in there. So we're going to need upgrades now. So, oh, let me, let me jump back over. Alright, so let me go back before I explain this. The reason I got the harvester is my understanding is that the plants will stay on the crops. Um, little crop thingies like this right here, crop sticks. And the harvester will just basically pick what's ready off of it. That's my understanding. I don't think we're going to need a planter. But again, um, it's something I need to Google or I just need to wait for Otis to get on because he knows all this stuff about agricraft and I know like almost nothing about it. I know it's just a tech tree for crops basically more, more or less. So I'm thinking that once we get all the crops set up down there then we'll just be able to stick the harvester there with an upgrade and it'll just basically pick off what we need and then we can route that over to the immersive engineering products and um, multi-blocks to start working. That's my my thought process. So I, I hopefully that's going to work right. All right, we have 24 blocks of Envar, so let's turn that back on. Start pouring things out. All right, so we're going to need a upgrade. So that'll be what nine by nine. No, 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 that's not. I don't know what it is. Let's just make the diamond one. Who cares? We got we got the diamonds. That way it gives us a little room to grow if we need to. Two, three. Plastic, some redstone, and... That's like the first thing. I can start using all these Thalmcraft coins. I know I can smelt them, but it's got time for that. Oh wait. Did I go down here? There we go. It's a diamond upgrade. There's some more Invar coming out. And I'm going to have to make some more leadstone of these. Where'd I put my lead? There we go. So there's a glass, lead, Go on, you. Okay, 18. That should be enough. Made some of these uh, project bench from... Uh, what is that? Uh, project grid. Okay, so... Three you. Redstone and some Envar. You guys just didn't want to spread, did you? Okay. That'll work for now. 
Let's jump back through. Hopefully it's not dark. Nah. I do need to get some kind of battery storage device and stick that on there. Because right now it's holding right at it a 1.1 million RF. So I'll probably make a uh, energy cube or um, the reason I like to use energy cubes is you can have an interface to like charge your tools with. And since we don't have a uh, fluid transposer yet, well, I mean I can make one. I don't really have, I can't really make the uh, redstone energy cell yet, but that should be fixable. So I'm gonna do that like that. That way I can stick a energy cube there. But uh, block my way down. But yeah, this is a. Oh, just started making a little hermit hole. So I was bringing you down right there. Um, don't know where to put it though. Maybe like right in here-ish. Stick the upgrade in there. And this will go be kind of our little crop room. And that way I have one block space where I can run some um, pipes out of to uh, store materials. So that'll work. Alright, let's go back on to the old base. Put these up. Let's see if I have the materials. All the materials ready to make a cube. Steel might be an issue. Do I have any steel lying around? Does not appear so. Okay, I do have some steel. What? That's not the steel that I made. That's fine. No problem. Alright, let's move everything to here. Bam, like you that. Alright, so we're going to need some energy tablets. And some... I only have one of those. Fine. Well, let me do a cut and I'm going to make a few things real quick and well, let's put that in there make a few things and we're gonna continue kinda of with power generation and um, kinda of this very uh, multi-step process with getting up uh, our power together so we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys I think I'm ready to finish making this guy grab a few more things while I was waiting for the Oh, nope, we need four. One more. I think I got everything ready. I made a few more things like while I was waiting. Some osmium, which I know I have tons of. Bam, bam, like that. Okay, so that's a, in advance. Now, when yesterday when I was making up all these, uh, actually when I was making the the digital miner, I kind of screwed up and made too many of these reinforced alloys. So I just stuck them in the chest because I know eventually we'd need them. So it looks like I'm going to need another energy tablet. Which is no big deal. Might as well make a pretty high tier storage device since that puts out so much power. Alright, so another energy tablet. And what goes on your sides? Gold. Bam. So this hole's still in jewels. I guess I'll have to go back in the configs and fix that. I thought I already did, but... Um, 
we kind of move things around a little bit. Let's see what I don't need. Right, let's see if it's dark out. Hopefully it's not dark out. Nope. Okay. Eat some people burger. Yum yum yum. Alright. So you'll go here. And you'll start filling up power pretty rapidly. Uh, yep, you're back to putting out putting a thousand R of a tick. Got a little bit of backlog of coal there, but um, this should last us for quite a while. Let's go and check on and make sure that guy's got power down there. Too far. Yeah, nice work. So, I also made some coke ovens from Immersive Engineers, which is engineering, but I did not grab a drum to put the creosote oil in. Are we even going to need creosote oil? Dynamo, dynamo, I know when. Now you gotta use the treated wood for a lot of the. Um, the, uh, the windmills and the turbines and stuff like that. So, probably for the. the. Um, oh, the bayonet, cool. So probably for some of the uh, blocks, but maybe not necessarily for what we're going to need to. So maybe I'll just set up one coke oven. Maybe that's what I'll do. That'll probably be easiest. And um, I guess I'll just stick him like so one, two, three. So unlike Railcraft. It is only. It's, it doesn't have an empty block. Whack it with a engineer's hammer, which is just sticks, iron, and string. And I'll have to go with some coal. And then I'll just stick a liquid transfer node on there to pull into like a drum. So cool. Coal. Let's put some coal in there. Which one of these? Sometimes you gotta wait a second to for the portal to figure out where you're at. Drum. Bam. And um, speaking of drums, we're now on. Yep, looks like I need to change that out. We've now gotten three full drums of essence with this guy running. Looks like there's an Enderman. Yep. Alright, so drum there, and we need to take some coal to convert to coal coke. Just like through that. And we'll stick the drum down right there. Cool, so that guy's pretty much automated. Probably do need to drink a chunk loader over here and leave it. But unfortunately, we don't have chicken chunks, which is what I prefer, but we do have dimensional anchors, which I guess work just as well. So, we're making progress. This guy's filling up pretty good. We need to ring this some more. Some more, uh. Oh, it's already burned through all that coal. But I'll bring some more of that. Alright, I'm gonna do a cut. I'm gonna see if. how where we are with time. And that'll probably be the end of this episode. So I'll be able to see you in a second. 
Yeah, like usual, I talked more than I thought I did, or longer than I thought I did, so we're like right at 30 minutes. Um, brought over some more coal, let this guy run, tried to fill up this uh, energy cube, and slapped down a dimensional anchor, that way this uh, guy will keep running. So I'm going to continue the decoration process, probably next episode we'll try to uh, see if we can get Otis over here to help us out with this agri-craft and get that guy get that thing rolling and I'll start working on some of the uh, multi-blocks for immersive engineering maybe I don't know we'll see but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little quick video a little quick it's been 30 minutes but you know what I mean uh, let me know what you think of the base uh, otherwise I'll see you guys soon have a great day